Okay, and we are back. Sorry for that, folks, but, uh, you know, <sighs> things get crazy. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take this bird over here and I'm gonna strip it of its armor and um, stuff. And then I am going to uh, put it in the golden lasso and take it inside so it won't go flying off the handle like some kind of lunatic. Literally flying off the handle, by the way. I'm not being figurative. It literally flew off the handle. I had to go into creative mode to get it. Which is just asininely crazy. The doges have formed into doge piles. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. I'll just push these birds over here in the crafting area. Actually, I'll keep the golden lasso with me. So, yeah. These birds are going to remain in here because they seem to be completely unable to restrain themselves. In the event that I get shot by some skeleton from somewhere. Seer brick. I got tons of seer bricks. Okay. I just heard chicken sounds. If you didn't hurt, you know, I would like that. I should probably keep a single one here. Okay, 23 seared bricks. Now, that isn't enough to make the smeltery, of course. But, they do have an EMC. Very low EMC. So, okay. So, let's see here. Smeltery control. There's eight seared In a circle. That's not bad. Seared tank. Requires glass and seared. Do that. Just need some glass. Which do we have plenty of sand? just occurred to me. I never went down and checked what the minions dug. Apparently, those little jackasses did not dig anything. <laughs> they, will they will be given very swift and violent beatings for their misbehavior. Where is the staff that I use for beating them across the sky? Here's my minion beating staff. food and then I'm going to come up here and 
get the food. Get some food for me to eat, rather. Um, yes, we have more than enough potatoes. Wonderful. I'll go and bake some for myself. In the meantime, I will gorge in this cooked rabbit. Okay. Good. While those potatoes are cooking, I will set the minions to work. Come, minions. Down the rabbit hole we go. Blue. Yes, my minions. Mine for me. Since I've already ordered to put their findings in the chest, they should be good. They do work rather efficiently. Fairly certain I know where they're going. Hmm. Now, we should probably get some more food to eat. These baked potatoes aren't very bad, actually. Okay, so now, the minions are working. I will take this gold, and I will begin putting it to work for me. So I need seared stone bricks. So let me get about four stacks of them. Okay, five stacks then. Okay, now I need glass infinitely more valuable resource. That should be good. Uh, suppose I can make a seared brick or two. Yes, a full stack of seared bricks should be more than enough to help. That's good. And the rest I will turn back into gold. Now, I will only need one of each of these parts, so it probably won't be too terrible. Let's see, we have the controller. Okay, we'll need about three to four of these tanks. Drain. That's right. I think three should suffice. Okay. Smeltery drain. Perfect. And we will need a faucet. I think. 
three of them on all such products. Okay, then. Uh, let's see. Seared gauge, which requires glass and And let's see, on the casting table, where's the casting table? Um, okay, wires those in that formation. Okay. Basin. We'll need one of those. That's good. So now, unless I am completely idiotic and have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm doing, uh, we should be more than prepared to make our um, smeltery. Now, the question would be, where should we make it? I have an excellent idea, but I think we may have to wait till morning to do it. So, while we wait for morning, uh, I'm going to throw some of this stuff that cannot help me in this situation uh, into this chest. Mostly just the brick pieces and sand that we did not use yet. I will also need a shovel. Where have I put my shovel? Where, oh where, has my dear shovel gone? Where, oh where could it be? Ah, there is my shovel, and here is my axe. We most certainly have an excess of wood, but I know that there are mobs out there. And what the hell, I'll chance it. Unless I have more potatoes. So, it seems the minions have completed their task. Lag seems to be happening. They may have crossed back over one of their previous tunnels. But that's fine. I don't really care if they cross back over. It's a labyrinth down there, and they are to dig one for me. <laughs> okay, good, good. Now, I'll leave them to mill about for a little while while I go out round the perimeter fence and, um, uh, ah, yes, the sun is on its way up right now. This is why I like this gun. It's an excellent deterrent for creepers. I can hold them just out of explosion range. So. So, I stated that I had an excellent idea that it would require a shovel. Well, I was not wrong. See, my idea is that since I don't have a, an extension to the house to build this indoors, I suppose the best thing that I could do is to leave it on the outside. And 
the best location to have it connect to the house would be out back. However, as you can tell, there's a small problem with that. There is a large hill in my way. A large hillock, if you will. So, I suppose the easiest way to get this done would be to carve all of this out. Yes. So, what I'm going to do off camera now is I'm going to carve all of this away. And then I will come back to all of you and I'll begin assembling the smeltery. I plan on replanting these trees elsewhere, by the way. So, till then, see you next time. Okay, people, and we are back. This episode will be uh, spliced with the previous one, as it's only going to be four minutes long. So, uh, yeah. So, here's where we're going to get started. So, this is going to be the main body of the uh, smeltery. I believe these seared bricks will be useful to me. Oh, God friggin' damn it. Some of my more loyal dogs seem to be um, very happy to help me. They can all sit back there, I guess. I don't have a problem with that. Uh, I should probably replace this back here. Okay. Uh, Oh yeah, this one is uninfected. Okay, good, good. Uh, yeah, I hate it when that happens. So, now I will line these walls with the seared bricks. these dogs back in afterwards. Okay, now, uh, these are the smeltery drains, and I will put them right here. Good, good, good. Uh, next, I'm going to put these here, and the seared tanks. It's really starting to grow concerning to me here. Um, yes. The seared tanks will be up against this heat resistant stone. And this is the smeltery controller. Now, um, seared glass. I'm going to put this. we reach the top. We can do this rather easily by simply building up like this. Uh -huh. Building higher and higher with each passing rung. Do not, okay. 
Mountains and I need to go down and get more bricks. You see, this is this is the beauty in my design. I simply round the house and put more bricks in. Now, some of you may be asking, uh, how are you going to get stuff like pig iron and blood in there? Well, that's the beauty of it. Oh, crap. Uh, we may have gone over four minutes. I... It's fine. I mean, you all saw me do it. I'll finish the rest of it off camera. Okay.